Another group of potential people you need to share with would be contractors or people outside the business or potentially individual customers. Now, the smartest way to do this is to set up groups using the groups feature and set up security groups for each different person inside the business or each different group of people inside the business and then share resources with those groups. Let's talk first about sharing and how you should be sharing inside your business because it's very important that you have some sharing protocols set up with inside your business which makes sense for you and protect your data. So when you're sharing a file inside your business or outside your business, as you're a growing business, and by growing business I mean anyone who's got more than two employees inside the business, you should be considering switching to group-based permissions instead of using individual sharing. What I mean by that is as your business grows, you want to identify organizational units, they're called, but basically groups of staff where you want to share certain files and certain resources with. So one group of staff might be executives or business owners inside the business. Another group of staff would be everyone inside the business who are employees. And yet another group of potential people you need to share with would be contractors or people outside the business or potentially individual customers. Now, the smartest way to do this is to set up groups using the groups feature and set up security groups for each different person inside the business or each different group of people inside the business and then share resources with those groups. So when you're spinning up a shared drive, you share it with a group. When you've got a shared calendar, you share it with the appropriate group. And what that means is you're not having to rely on remembering who have I shared individual files with inside or outside the business. The other great thing that you can do is inside Google Drive is you can actually lock down certain Google Drive shared drives so that only certain people can access them. So what does that look like? Well, inside my shared drives, let's say for example, my training drive, I don't ever want that to be shared outside my company because I don't want anyone who's outside IT Genius to access any of our training material. Well, inside my shared drive settings here, I can tick this little box and say, or it's unticking the box, allow people outside of IT Genius to access files. What that means is anything that lives inside that folder or that shared drive rather, will never be able to be seen outside of the company. And so for certain shared drives where you set up certain areas of the business where you wanna have them restricted, you can designate that you never share any of the files there outside the business. And for anything else, you wanna use group-based permissions. Now, the easiest thing or the smartest thing about using group-based permissions means that when you have someone, for example, a contractor, need to access certain files within the business, all you have to do is add them to the contractor group and automatically they'll have access to anything that you wanna give contractors access to. It might be read-only access to certain files. It might be read and upload access to certain shared drives, but not the ability to change things or not the ability to delete things. It might be you just wanna share one calendar with contractors so they can see things that are going on inside the business, but maybe you don't wanna share the details of the events on that calendar. You just wanna see if people are free or busy. Well, they're the kind of things where you can deploy a contractor security group, and then when a contractor is no longer working with the business, you remove them from the group, and then once they've been removed from the group, hey presto, they lose access to all of those resources. Makes it very, very easy. So that's my strong recommendation when you're sharing things with people outside the business. It doesn't necessarily stop individual files being shared with people outside operators, outside the business. But when you have a culture of using group-based permissions, it can lock things down. As you become a larger and a larger business, and I mean north of 20, 30, 40, 50 employees, when you're really in scale-up mode and considered a, what we would call a mid-market business, you wanna do things like starting to set organizational units within the business and actually locking down the ability to share outside the company to whole groups of staff. Because some staff just probably never have a valid reason to share anything on a document outside the business and that's where Chrome policy comes into place. You would set up an organizational unit inside your admin panel and inside that organizational unit, start to restrict your sharing settings. If you'd like some help configuring that, then head along to onsitehelper.com. The link is down below this video. You'll be able to access that through the team and have a chat to them about enterprise level security settings for your business. We love setting those up for companies as businesses scale to keep things nice and locked down. And that's especially important if you've got compliance or risk management to think about, or you just wanna make sure that you have a lower possibility of a security breach. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. 
Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.